It's been a hot minute since I've done a stroller review, but this is an amazing stroller wagon I was sent to review from Gladly Family. So we're gonna set it up and do the full review for you guys. But I wanna preface this by saying, my husband came home and saw this downstairs in the garage and he came right up to me and went, are you pregnant? I kid you not. I was like, say what now? Anyway, let's get started. This is the Gladly Family Anthem 2 all-terrain wagon stroller built for two kids up to 50 pounds each. Are you excited? In three, two, one. Oh, yes! -a. Good things ahead. Thank you for your purchase. All right, they get an A for packaging. This is a really fun unboxing kind of experience. Gonna take some, ooh! It is a beast, as expected. Open me first instruction manual and some other stuff really cute instruction manual here look at this show me and then everything is visually done to make it super easy so much stuff comes in here everything is officially unboxed ready to assemble this is the main wagon stroller this is the nap mattress you can put in there and all these extra accessories this comes with a lot of stuff so the kids can't hang their hands down and touch the wheels. These are gonna cover the back wheels. Oh my God, that's amazing. So you line it up and then you slide it backwards and it snaps into place. They use really nice, quiet material on here. They are run flat, there's no air, but they're not like the noisy plastic. They're really nice, like they have some give to them. I don't know what this material is, but really, really nice tires. We're gonna pop this in here. Snappity snap. These are the same really nice material, very heavy duty. Snap them in. They are gonna rotate like a turtle on its back here. We're finally gonna flip it. Right here is your handlebar lock. When you pulled the whole wagon up with the handles, the seats automatically popped up and locked into place. Each one has a little plastic seat that's gonna be waterproof, easy to clean. Has a padded back with a three-point harness that's gonna be adjustable. A little dipped in area for their feet. So nice in there. Just for example, here is my eight-year-old. She's 55 pounds. She fits in there barely. It does say 50 pound max per seat, but we wanted to put her in here just to see how it works and she can fit. So I would say under six years old is probably ideal. <laughs> is it comfy? Yeah. There's not a lot of leg space once you get this big. Is that comfy? Yeah. Woo, in a pinch, sure. The canopy at the front comes already installed, but you can zip it off as well if you don't want to use it. Here's the second canopy you can install on the other side. You can convert this from a two-seater into a flat bed with this insert here. There you go, now you have a flat bassinet, which is great for a baby or a toddler for nap time. Also great for groceries or lugging your kids backpacks and other stuff for the park. This insert is amazing. You got the second canopy on. You're gonna slide it onto these hooks here and then zip it here. Finally, snap it in. So here we are in bassinet mode or regular wagon mode. You still have the seat backs here, but it's flat down here. And then you pull up one canopy, pull up the other canopy, and you've got this little strip in the middle, but you could easily hang a nursing towel, a thin blanket, something like that. There is mesh right here, little peekaboo windows that do not close. Then you're just gonna reverse the steps to get it back into the seat mode. Let's get the rest of these accessories set up. In the same spot that your mattress went is the snack tray. Boom. That is so nice for kids. Oh my gosh, they can have two drinks. They can have two separate snack areas, toys, pacifiers, you name it. The parent console has two separate parts. Those are just gonna snap on here. That's amazing. And then it will rotate if you need to. Test it out with a huge tumbler full of water. Fits in there no problem. This, boom, boom. 
I love that it has a top on it and it's completely enclosed here. So nothing's gonna fall out with this on. Oh, it's so great. The handles are a really nice grippy foam. Super comfortable to hold. Last but certainly not least, you've got this little basket that's gonna clip on the front. All set. There are four convenient internal pockets here in the wagon for the kids to use or the parent. Folding this is really easy. Pull it up slightly, then you're gonna slide this over and squeeze it at the same time to unlock it and then everything just drops. This you pull up and fold down. And finally, it stands. The best space saving storage here. It's about 41 inches high this way. It's gonna fit in a closet. It could fit under your bed. This is great for people with not enough storage space. Maybe they have an apartment. It's gonna be great for going to play centers, restaurants. You can take off the accessories and the wheels and everything to make it flatter if you really need to squeeze it into the trunk of a car or something. And then again, to open it back up, you just slide this up and then the handles. Bam. Really easy. This is the breakaway up here. Really easy to use. Flip flop friendly, as I like to say. There are two things about the Anthem 2 wagon stroller that are not good or bad, just worth mentioning because they're very different from other strollers and wagons I've reviewed. One is that the handlebar does not change the height or the angle at all. It's one set position, which I love personally. I'm 5'8 and I find it a really great height for me. It puts you at a great distance from the wagon. So you can take long strides walking. You're never gonna hit the wagon like it's so comfy love that actually That's probably the best distance of any stroller or wagon I've ever seen the other thing again Not necessarily good or bad just really different and it's gonna take some getting used to the Moving wheels are on the parent side as opposed to in front of you when you're walking this way Which means steering is tricky and if you really need to navigate corners and stuff, you're gonna have to pull it. This way, it's gonna pull and turn easy on a dime on your end. In that way, it's more of a wagon than a stroller because it's gonna maneuver well if you're pulling it. And if you're pushing it like a stroller, you can definitely turn. That's not an issue. You can steer and turn no problem. But if you have a tight corner or you're trying to like park it into a tiny area or something, then take some getting used to. But again, not necessarily good or bad, just worth mentioning because that's just a difference of this wagon compared to other strollers and wagons. You get used to it real quick. This is the Anthem 2 from Gladly Family. Neon indigo design. It's gorgeous, it's gender neutral. It weighs just 35 pounds. The quality, everything is just amazing. All the accessories it comes with, the fact that you can have it lay down into a full bassinet and then remove that and have two toddlers sitting there across from each other sharing a snack tray. It's easy to collapse and store away or put in your trunk of your car. This wagon stroller is amazing. Really, really great. Highly recommend it. It's going to grow with your family from the baby years on up past the toddler years because each seat has a 50 pound max. And like I said, after your kids outgrow this completely, Completely. You could put the mattress layer back in it and just use it as a wagon for grocery shopping, going to the park, the beach, you name it. I love it and I know you will too.